All right, so this is going to be uh, example five for your trigonometry uh, problem. So a lot of things has to happen here. Okay, on this, we're going to be working both sides of the equation. And from the notes yesterday, I was actually working a little bit on the left hand and right hand, trying to show you a way to actually make both of these match. So the number one thing that you need to look at <laughs> I'm sorry, there was something on his desk. Okay. The number one thing you need to look at is starting out these problems, they're equal. They're going to be equal. You're stating it, it's going to be equal at the very beginning. You already know the answer. You just have to figure out how it gets there. And that's what we're going to do. Okay? So now, on this part right here, let's translate this into algebra. So if I translate this into algebra, what do we get on the left-hand side? 1 over x plus y over x all over. And that is equal to the right-hand side, which is 2 plus y squared. All over x squared over 1. Over 1, right? Okay. So I have all of that translated now, right? Okay. So now that that's translated, now I can actually do some of the work that goes along with this. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to start with the left-hand side. I'm going to start with the left-hand side. So I'm just going to work this side over here. So if you paid attention in algebra where a lot of people don't, okay, they're probably asleep or they just hate their teacher because they come and tell me all the time, they're like, I hate my teacher. I'm like, all right, then you, okay. you should have, should at least try and pay attention a little bit. So for this right here, do I have a common denominator for the entire top and bottom? Yeah. 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 On the left-hand side, the denominator is X, 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 X. Okay. Oh. Common denominator for the whole thing is x, right? Yeah. So to be able to cancel this out, I can multiply everything by the common denominator. Yeah. So watch this. So right here, top and bottom. So it's x over 1, right? Yeah. Okay, and it's x over 1 yeah. because we multiply fractions straight across. The top times the top, the bottom times bottom. As I distribute it here to my first spot, it distribution. Foil is binomial times binomial. Yes, you got it. So, what's going to happen over here? X is cancels, right? So you're left with 1. As I distribute over here, what's going to happen? X cancels, so I'm left with? Because I asked. Did it, did it. Now, I'm going to distribute the bottom. 1 minus Y. Okay. So, right here, the x is canceled, don't they? Yeah. So it's going to be 1 minus, right here, the x is canceled. That leaves you with? There we go. Okay, you could just, like, hit back and, like, you know, re, you know back up 30 seconds. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to leave it right there. Okay. Let's leave it right there see what we get. So now, on the left-hand side, what's my common denominator? Everything's over 1, isn't it? So I could just rewrite that if it's going to be all over 1. So I could just turn that into 1 plus 2y plus y squared over x squared, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to have to factor. I have a trinomial there. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. I just said an F word right now. Okay. Everyone just got like, okay. Factor. Now, this thing right here. So, this is going to factor. It is a trinomial, even though it is backwards. Usually, with the trinomial, your leading coefficient is out front, isn't it? Yeah. But in this case, I want to leave it like this. You'll understand why here momentarily. Okay, I'm going to move this over to the next page so I have enough, more, more to work with. 
So I have 1 plus 2y plus y squared over x squared. Now, if I were to factor this, I'm going to show you guys how to factor. Because a lot of people do a certain way, and a lot of people totally forgot what they were doing. So I'm going to factor this using the ABC method. So I have, so let's see, this is my A, this is my B, and this is my C. When I do the AC method, it's A times C. What's the coefficient, so the number for A? Just one, right? Okay, what's the number for C? One. No, the number. Oh, one. Just one, right? So it's the number in front, the number in front of the variable. I don't want the variable because I can't use the variable here. So I just want the number. So it's going to be 1 times 1, which gives me? One. Very good. And the next part is going to be something plus something has to equal my B. What is my B value here? Two. My B value is 2, right? So it has to equal 2. Now, I want two numbers that are going to multiply to be 1, but add together to be 2. One and one. one and one. Very good. So I have 1 and 1. So now what I'm going to redo with this is I'm going to replace my B value. I'm going to replace the B, which is this, with 1 plus 1. So it's, it's called expanding. So I'm expanding this. So it's going to be 1 plus 1y plus 1y plus y squared. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, it's called factor by grouping is the next part. So if I had a certain person here, you know, he would ask for numbers, and this would be step two of this, would be factor by grouping. So I'm going to group two at a time. So let's group these two. What is the one thing I can always take out of everything? One. One, so it's going to be plus one, right? So it's 1, right, times 1 plus y. Okay, what am I going to take out of this? One. I can take out a y, right? Is it a positive or negative? Positive. positive. So it's a positive, so I'm going to say that. So it's a positive y, and when I take that out, what's going to be left? 1 plus y. So 1 plus y. So now, do they both have a 1 plus y in common? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to do this. So I'm going to factor out the common, which is my 1 plus y. Now, the next binomial is leftovers. If I took out this and this, what was left over? 1 plus y. That goes in my second binomial. 1 plus y. Okay, so I have this. Now, this is factored completely. Okay, that's factored. Okay, so let's replace the top. So I'm going to have 1 plus y, 1 plus y. Now, time to go to my toolbox. x squared is equal to what? Y squared. One minus y squared, right? Okay, yeah, 1 minus y squared. Very good. Now, I know that I can actually replace it, so it's going to be 1 minus y squared. And why did I do that? Let's take a look at my previous problem, my previous, my left side. Do I have any x's over here? No. I don't have any x's, do I? So by changing that out earlier, what I just did, I now got rid of all my x's, and all my, the only variables I have left are y's, don't I? Mm -hmm. Let's go back to this. Now, the next thing that we're going to have, it's a more factory. It's called the difference of squares. Difference of squares. Is one a perfect square? No. Yeah. yeah. What's one square? One. one. Okay, that, that's a perfect square there. What about y squared? Is that a perfect square? So, Say yes. It's y times y, isn't it? Yeah, y times y. That gives me a perfect square. Kind of like saying 25. Is 25 a perfect square? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because it's 5 times 5. That's where I get from that. So I have two squares here, and the word minus in math is difference. 
So the difference of squares, the difference is that minus sign right there, right? Yes. Okay, the minus sign. So just reading what I have there, it is difference of squares. The difference of squares factors out. It always does, okay? The difference of squares is going to give you this factors to be 1 minus y and plus y. So if I were to FOIL this again, my middle term goes away and I'm left with 1 minus y squared. This is always going to factor this. So part of my tools that I have for this, I know that x squared is always going to be equal to 1 minus y, 1 plus y. So this always works out. It always does. So I can always replace x squared with one of these. Because when I do my math, this gives me perfect squares. It's the difference of two squares here. Okay? So I know you guys are writing this in your notes because this is one of the things that you're going to need for your homework. So we have that. So I can replace that. So now let's take a look. I'm going to have 1 plus y, 1 minus y, over... 1 minus y, 1 plus y. Now that it is all factored, the numerator has been factored, the denominator has been factored. Wait, wait, Paco. Yes. Why did it switch? Why did what switch? You have a positive and a negative on top. Like, oh, oh, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. Right there. I'm sorry. I didn't carry it over. Sorry. It, it's 1 plus y and 1 plus y. I'm sorry. Okay, so now that I have that, what can I do from here? Cancel out what? Cancel out 1 plus y. And so what's going to be left? Okay. So this one right here. What do we get there? Is that the same as what I have on my left side? Yeah. So let's take a look. So 1 plus y, 1 minus y. This is my right side. Now let's go back. 1 plus y, 1 minus y on my left side. So are they the same? Yes, they are. So everything that I needed, you want to go back to the other one? Everything I needed was there. So what I just taught you guys today is some refresher on algebra. Okay, so we've gone over. We have factoring a trinomial, and we have difference of squares. So the word of the day is difference of squares. Phrase of the day. All right. Yes. Questions over this, or you just guys just copy? Okay. So I'm going to stop this here. So any actual questions here? Are we not going to use the one minus y squared anymore? We can use that. You could use both. I could use both. Sometimes, like for this case right here, I could use this or this. But because I'm factoring, because there was some of the homework problems. You guys actually had a homework problem that said factor, and you had something like 1 minus sine squared, right? Yeah. So it was actually this, right? 1 minus sine squared, because I helped someone with this earlier today. It factors to be this. It was the difference of squares. All right. Does that make sense now? Yep. Okay, so I want to help you guys with some homework, so give you guys time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. and. Okay, shout out Corn and Jade is going to do a dance if we get 100 views here.